Gay Lynn. I'm the Rhinestone Queen. Welcome to my new studio. If you notice, we have a special entrance for the studio right here. This is the best thing we did. My husband can sit, watch TV, and clients coming in and out don't bother him. We also have a couple of parking spaces special outside just for the clients that come in. And if you notice, there's the entrance into the home. This is a fabulous thing. This is a mirror. And this mirror um, has a curtain across it. This was a dead wall. It was essentially useless. We put the mirror, a full mirror up there, covered it with a curtain. When I have a client who comes in for a fitting, I use the mirror for fittings. And then when they get done, I like to take a picture and put it on my Facebook page. So I close the curtain and I have a backdrop for my pictures. Okay, so if we look at the other side of the studio here, you can see that mirror to orient you. This room right here is a dressing room. I'll show you that in a moment. Then I've got two Ikea desks that I use for my sewing tables that I have my machines on. And I store whatnots in that little filing cabinet on the corner. And I've got a TV for my num TV watching. That rack is uh, stores all of my ex extra fabric. Uh, I sort it by color in the plastic tubs, makes it easy to find, pretty nice. One of the things we did well that I really like in designing this space are these three windows. It allows for a lot of natural light, and we all know when you sew, you need as much light as possible. This table I bought on Amazon for pretty inexpensive. It does fold down, so if you have a tight space, you can fold it down to about 12 inches wide and um, the length of the table. I don't ever close mine, so I put this mat on top that I bought at Joann's for about $40. Uh, I can rotary cut on it. They make more expensive ones that you can buy. This one's only 40. You can buy one for several hundred dollars. That's that size. That's a self-healing mat. Maybe one day I'll invest in that, but for now, this is gonna do. Okay, so here's the dressing room I told you about. We're not finished with designing it. I'm gonna put some pictures up there and some hooks on the wall, but I have my, um, my mannequin in the corner. I've got a little vanity for people to be able to sit. And we're gonna put some hooks on the wall. We didn't get there yet. This is my closet. In my closet, I have my patterns sorted in this fabulous little thing I bought at um, Hobby Lobby. And the patterns are stored in there. Oh, that's a terrible one to show you. It's, I've got that big pattern on top. Let's see, I've got Patterns all stored, it makes it nice and easy to access. I've got my bolt fabric in the corner. I've got some foam boards that I use for sewing right there in the corner as well. I've got my bolt fabric on the bottom, extra supplies, the projects that I'm working on, all of my rhinestones and a head because I make head pieces. And then all of my things are stored up top and they're all in bins and are labeled. Makes everything easy to find. So that's pretty nice. You can see it just goes on. <laughs> I have tall ceilings, so that just goes, I took advantage of all of the space. It's all stored. I do have um, some hanging space. I don't need much. I keep my ironing board in the corner. I think you can see from this dressing room that the bathroom is attached. So that was a smart thing we did. And this bathroom is actually a Jack and Jill bathroom. And it goes through to the guest rooms on the other side. Oh, I do have a chalkboard there. I forgot to show you that, that I keep my projects on and a clock. And, oh, very important when you're working, we put an oscillating fan up there. Oh, and the other important thing that we did that was incredibly helpful is the lighting. That's a chandelier from my old house, and we have six recessed lights in here. So I don't know if you can tell how nice and bright it is, but it's very bright in this room, and that was one of the good things. Probably the one thing we did that we that I didn't realize, I loved the light, but the light came at the sacrifice of walls, so we don't have wall space. The other thing I ha um, that I don't like is that we could have made the room if it were just a foot or two wider, it would be better because you can see that it's a pretty narrow space. I pull an extra table in here, it, it's a little tight. Had I made it two feet wider, 
I'd be in much better shape. And I didn't think about the door swings with having two entrances. So we really only have, you know, we have one wall with, there's windows. Another wall has an exterior door and a door to the inside. And then there's that little bitty wall that's dead, a door to the dressing room, which, oh, by the way, we did pocket doors. So that was very helpful. We did a pocket door here and a pocket door as an entrance to the bathroom. So it eliminated the need for a door swing. So that was good. But these are the only walls I have. So that was, that's the negative. Um, I, it works. We ended up with enough space. Since you've had the tour, I thought you might find it helpful to see the studio floor plan. If you'd like to study it a little bit, you can go ahead and just hit pause here. Thanks for touring my studio with me. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you ever want to learn how to make dance costumes or leotards, I have lots of videos out there and I'm happy to show you. Thanks for watching.